Hello, grade nine. We will start today with the last lesson in this chapter, which is talking about absolute value inequalities and how to solve it. We studied before absolute value equations. And today, this is the second part to study absolute value inequalities. And the absolute value means the distance from zero. And also we know that the absolute value should be a positive number. And we have different types of inequalities. Then my advice to you that you have to care about the sign for the inequality, especially with the positive and negative numbers and the side which the absolute value lies on. So the first the question here is absolute value 2x plus 5 more than 11. We know that any absolute value should be bigger than a positive number or it should be equal a positive number and it will be bigger than 11 in this question. So how we are going to solve it? When you have, this is the first case and you can take a note. If you have absolute value is positive, more, sorry, I'm sorry, absolute value is more than a positive value, then we can use the word and. And we are going to do two steps. We will copy the first uh, uh, part of the equation, like 2x plus 5 more than 11, and 2x plus 5 less than, you will flip the sign, and you will find the additive inverse of the number 11. It will be negative 11. Then please, again, take care about this part. If you have an absolute value more than a positive number, so we have to divide our answer into two parts. The first part, you will remove the sign for the absolute and you will make copy paste more than and more than 11. Then the second part, it will be 2x plus 5, flip the sign, less than, make the 11, find the additive inverse, it will be negative 11. Then we are going to solve the question normally. Okay, then once you have more than positive number, so you have this answer or this answer. Solve the inequality, add the additive inverse, so we have 2x more than 6 divided by 2 for both, then x is more than 3. So this is the first answer. Or we will go to answer the second part, add the negative uh, or the additive inverse, so 2x less than negative 16 divided by 2 for both, then x is less than negative 8. If we want to solve now x more than 3 and x is less than negative 8 in the number line, we started already from the beginning with absolute value x is uh, uh, more than 11. Take any number here. He said x is more than 3. Then if you will put a number to make a check with the answer, x is less than negative 8. Give me any number less than negative 8. So it will be 2 times negative 9 plus 5 more than or uh, more than 11. So absolute value of negative 13, it will be more than what? More than 11. Then this is correct. Which means if you will choose any number related to this region, x is more than 3, or this region, then it will satisfy the inequality. 
then we will start to draw it graphically by the number line. Then it will be x is more than 3. It's a blank circle and extend to the right. x is less than negative 8. It will be a blank circle and we will move to the left. Okay. So now this is or and this is the first case. If you want to solve the uh, absolute value inequality and it's more than positive number. If we want to write it by interval, it will be this is means negative infinity and we don't have a, 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 a eight. So it will be an open eight union open three and positive infinity. So the interval in this part, we will take only on the number line, but this is extra for your information. Second case, if we have absolute value, absolute value less than 70, less than or equal 70. In first case, it was more than positive number in second case less than positive number then in this case we are going to use and so we have 3x minus 4 less than 3x minus 4 less than 17 and Then in this case, we have to note that an absolute value is less than a positive number. Then this is the second case. If it's less than a positive number, so we will use and in first case, I said if it's more than an inequality, more than or equal positive number, <coughs> sorry, so we will say or, but if it's less than or equal a positive number, we will use and first copy paste, second we will write and, and then we will flip the sign and find the additive inverse of this number. It will be 3x minus 4 more than or equal negative 70. We will start to solve an inequality. Then I have 3x less than or equal 21 divided by 3 to both. Then x is less than or equal 7. Second, we will answer a second question. Add additive inverse, simplify, then 3x more than or equal negative 30 divided by 3, divided by 3, then x is more than or equal negative 13 over 3. In this case, we have any region, so we can make a check. x is less than or equal 7. Represent on the number line, 7 in the right side, and we have a part in the negative side. L x is less than or equal 7. Then we will go and we will stand on 7 and it will be a shaded circle. And then it will extend to the left because it's less than. Second, <clears throat> negative 13 over 3, it will move to the right side. Then we can write a solution set for this question. It will be x is more than, sorry, x is more than or equal negative 13 over 3 and less than or equal 7. Again, in first case, if it's more than or equal positive number, it will be or, and we will divide it, the inequality into two parts, one copy paste, Second, flip the sign and find the additive inverse. In second case, 
if the absolute value is less than a positive number, we will use and because in this case, we have a common part or a common interval between the two numbers. Let's move to the next case. I have absolute value 3x plus 5 less than negative 3. The absolute value, all of us know that the absolute value, it should be a positive number. And he said that the positive number is less than negative 3. If we will imagine that I'm going to replace uh, I, I said absolute value. If we will put zero, for example, if zero is less than any uh, uh, negative number, if I will write this inequality, zero is less than negative three, this is incorrect inequality, then for sure, the positive numbers, it will not be less than the negative number. If zero in the right of negative three. So what about any positive number comes after zero? So in this case, we are going to say that this absolute value has no solution, or we can say it's fine. No solution, no value of x. We can replace it here inside this any, uh, absolute value to find a solution. So this is the third case. It's less than a negative number. Let's move to the next case. Absolute value x minus 3 more than negative 4. So think with me. What we have to do, if we have 0, the absolute it will be above 0. If we have 0, if 0 is more than negative 4, right? Then the inequality is correct. Then we will start to solve. So at the beginning, we will check if the inequality is wrong, we will not continue. It will be no solution. If the inequality is correct, so we are going to answer the inequality. Here I have x is more than negative 4. Then what we have to do, we will replace any number inside it to make this absolute value more than negative 4. So let me check with you. We will write that all real numbers, it will be a solution for this inequality. All real numbers, it will be a solution for this inequality. Which means all the numbers, which we can substitute x by using it, it will be a positive number. Well, absolute, it will give us a positive number. And any positive number is greater than any negative number. So again, we said with negative, we have two different cases. If it's absolute value less than negative number, then no solution. If it's absolute value more than negative number, so we have to write all real numbers and we don't have any more steps i said the absolute comes after the positive it comes after zero so if you would put here zero more than negative four yes it's correct choose any number after zero in the side uh, in the right side eight is more than negative four yes correct then the inequality is correct which means all real numbers, it would be a solution. Then, to make summary about this lesson, you have four cases in front of you. If it's uh, more than uh, or, or less than a positive number, if it's more than or less than a negative number. So as I said, we have different cases. What about if we have a question like this? 3 absolute value, 7x minus 4 plus 5 more than 70. We have 2. Simplify the left side first. So we will add the absolute value of this one. So we will add negative 5 for both. And then 
we will divide it by three, which means seven X minus four more than four. Absolute value seven X minus four more than four. In this case, L absolute is more than a positive number. Remember what we have to do. It will be seven X minus four more than four, copy paste, and then seven X minus four, flip the sign, flip the number, add the diff inverse. Then solve for both two cases, then the answer, it will be, or because it was more than a positive number. So we said that we will use or. Then we solve, it will be x is more than the eight over seven. For the second one, it will be seven x less than zero divided by seven divided by seven, then x is less than zero. If you want to represent it graphically, how you will find the answer, you have zero, and then you have eight over seven already, it's more than one, so it's in this right side, and you have open circle, zero is less than, and open circle, more than. Then the answer for this question, the answer for this question, it will be, it will be x more than eight over seven, or x is less than zero. So this is was our lesson three seven in chapter three algebra. Thank you and hope for you all the best.